Greetings and welcome, everyone. It's All You Can Geek Movie Cast, episode 558. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gass, joined by Mike Sneedy. What's up? Corey Feinside. Hey. And Tony Korkanakis. Yo. Welcome, guys. Welcome, listeners and viewers to 558 of the movie cast. So, guys, it's been a week. We've actually got a new Marvel show this week. Do you guys all check it out? Mm-hmm. Yes. No. Quick watch. You didn't watch What If? Ugh, what if, Mike? What, what if? if? Well, there's no reason to watch that. It's fun. It, it kind of coincides with what we just watched. They mentioned yeah. all of those rules. I watched other stuff. Did not watch that. So, anyways, so we watched that. I, you know, I mean, just, I don't know. I, I enjoyed it. For what, I mean, you're going to have different episodes each time. I'm kind of mm-hmm. like, it, it gets me excited for um, Star Wars Visions that's coming out. It's going to be a similar trailer. Idea. Yeah, it looks great. September 22nd. I'm the excited. one I posted today, right? No. Wait. No, that was one that came out today. I didn't see you posted it, but I watched it. Yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so a lot of, lot of big-name voices and everything in it. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Surprise. Like, so uh, they went really went all out in, in the Star Wars universe, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. But guys, what we what we've been up to, what we've been watching, I can... Sort of kick us off because that was what if, which I'm sure we'll talk about in just a minute. Um, I'm trying to think of what else, like, uh, you know, big time stuff I watched because I didn't finish Kenshin the beginning yet. Um, mm-hmm. I'm like, I have, I have like an hour left. It's long. It's like two and a half hour movie. Uh, yeah. Maybe two hours. Maybe two hours and forty. Yeah. It's a long movie, which is fine. It's the first, basically the first, um, the two OVAs uh, mm-hmm. that they made, right? That, that's really yeah. what this is. So, um, but it's. Nice, but it's like the actor who plays Kenshin. I feel like he's just really old to play a kid. I, yeah, okay, you got some I mean, vibe. Okay, I just, yeah, he's old. Like he looks, the actor looks old. But I mean, I just yeah, I just chalk it up I to kept, you know. It kept breaking uh, me out of it. I know, I know. I was just like, ah, he's breaking me out of this a little bit. I keep seeing his like his bags and stuff under his eyes. I'm like, man, that guy's mm-hmm. probably pretty old. I wonder how old he actually is. But uh, it, the the production's fantastic, though. Holy cow, like. The, the the fight sequences are so like awesome and cutthroat like just quick it, like it's not even like that uh it, it's incredible action in a fast fast sequence it's so cool to see um i'm, mm-hmm. I'm very impressed with it i, I actually really like that uh, i can't wait to watch the finale i wish they did some middle stuff you know yeah, i wish it was like more <laughs> but because uh, you told me that now i'm like i want to watch the finale i'm gonna be like damn it i'm gonna watch i want to watch the rest of these stories but uh so yeah i'm, I'm watching that and um I, you know, I'm rewatching um, what we do in the shadows, which is coming back soon and, and got renewed for a season four already. Uh, if you haven't seen this, guys, you have to watch that show. Seriously. Like, it is so good. It is one of my favorite TV shows. Um, Ted Lazo's up there currently. Favorite TV shows mm-hmm. currently. Right, that, right. That's out right now. Um, Ted Lazo's up there, obviously. But this is. Did you watch the Christmas episode? I did not watch that yet. No. Um, so I'm on that one, but, uh, I, I don't know. I got, I, I, I haven't had time to watch that one yet. So I'm, I'm a little behind on things, but hope to catch up next week. Um, but yeah, it's, um, what we do in the shadows, you have to watch it seriously. It's on Hulu, it's on FX. Um, check it out. It's, it's got some great stuff to it. So that's really it for me though. Mike, we've been watching. So I did catch up and watch Suicide Squad, um, on HBO oh, good. this week. Okay. We had some conversations in discord on this. Yeah, I I mostly liked it. I the the opening sort of sequence turned like turned me off a little bit because um, it gets to a point where it's just like oh, so I can't like really care about any of these characters. But <laughs> after I sort of got the sense that we had the team that I saw was going to be the team, then I got into it more. Um, it's definitely better. There's a lot of directorial flourishes. There's style to it, and uh, but uh, it's it's got more Mortal Kombat style fatalities than the Mortal Kombat movie did. <laughs> like, That's a good one. That's a good it, one. It I, does, yeah. and they're they're exactly yeah. they're they're a lot like you know how it is in the games and stuff. There's is this kind of like normally there's sort of like a build up to it, and it, it's mostly kind of funny. Um, so. <clears throat> But, you know, I, I don't need it as much, but it's definitely part of the, the movie. It's like a core sort of, like, thing <laughs> to, mm-hmm. to what it, it what it's trying to do, I think. Um, but I like it. I mean, God, like, it's a lot better. It actually made me care about Rick Flagg, <laughs> which is uh, no small feat. 
Um, really? Yeah. Like what so, part? Are we going to go into spoilers? Well, I mean, <laughs> mild, I guess, but I, can, I would, I I would like to know. I, I really I mean, I no one's watching do, this movie anyway. We're, about we're to not going to do a spoiler cast for this. Just, just, just fucking do it. You know what the problem is? We don't know. <laughs> like, does HBO have streaming data for it yet? Do we know? Oh, oh the first weekend they, they said, like, it was it, a lot, but not the most. I don't remember what it was, but it's something equivalent to like if those people went to the theaters, it would have been like 60 to 70 more million. But um, so most people, because there's no extra price on this, like I feel like the vast, vast majority of the people are watching this at home because um, there's no reason not to really. Right. Um, it's not like there's, or spend not like there's a $30 like. See, if there was a $30 barrier here, like there was for someone like Black Widow, I would just go see it. If I'm going to pay that much more, I'm going to see it in a theater. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah. for this, it's just, yeah, it's just right there. Um, but anyway, no, I mean, like, talk about Mortal Kombat. There's, there's an x-ray scene here. And, uh, you know, when Rick Flag, you know, fights it in the end, I'm like, oh, that's uh, sad. You know, he was there this whole time. He was trying to do the right thing he's definitely less of a douche in this movie i just felt like he was a useless character in this movie i don't know he's just i i didn't feel like he was well, it wasn't really his story that's and I'm why like, he met his end the way he did yeah i just felt like it wasn't I that felt like that was his use in this movie and that that's yeah. fine killed by all one. these characters are expendable yep. they're really yeah. like they're not going anywhere except for maybe two of them so yeah uh i actually read that apparently they cut the scene that shows why he was placed on team one because i mean team one was supposed to just be like the camp yeah, the sacrifice literally, yeah literally yeah. like uh, well, now, what was it from south park where it was like operation shield or, or yeah whatever that was or it was like oh, uh, guys are going to die were they really yeah it definitely was not the, that that the, pc yeah, that though tony <laughs> it was definitely more well no no like, I'm, I'm just saying like put them in front of the whiteies or yeah, something yeah, yeah. all right maybe bad example bad example bad example but yes they were supposed to be pawns 100 percent um but apparently the cut scene was that uh, Amanda uh, Waller was upset at Flag because he, like, made fun of a shirt she was wearing one day. So she was like, whatever, I'm just going to fucking get rid of you. And they're like, yeah, it didn't really make sense. I'm like, thank God. But, like, also, because, like, that would have been just super petty. But I'm like, you also didn't, like, leave in anything to explain it then at all. Like, not even, like, one line or comment. Just, I don't know. Well, I wasn't so sure they were supposed to be dead more than a distraction like i i think pete davidson's character was kind of the reason why they were ambushed at least based on what he said at the time he's like oh i called you guys or whatever um yeah and i, I don't think they were meant to completely wipe it but i don't think they were also at high hopes for that they, they were the definitely main there to, they were, yeah, the they were main definitely team. a distraction no i think they were the they were the sacrificial lamb they were definitely were they were the no, yeah, the I don't, I don't right think there. I don't like, think they, that they like, thought they would all go like, because like, as far as what she seemed pretty pissed off when they were all dying. <laughs> yeah, well, like, what's well, his I mean, name? Betrayed them. It was like, screwed up. Yeah, it was screwed up that they got betrayed. I mean, that's what happened. So, so yeah, uh, we're we'll getting into like what ifs and who cares. So, well, they definitely made uh, Amanda Waller a little more villainous in this one. Like, yeah. In the end, mm -hmm. her, her logic at the end didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, yeah, that, that was one of my biggest gripes because, like, I don't know, out of all the incarnations I've seen of Amanda Waller, this one just did not seem to get the character. Because, like, real quick, I mean, Amanda Waller, I mean, she's supposed to be like kind of like a bitch, but like in a like, I understand. Like, I'm not, I don't agree, but I understand. And this, I was just mm -hmm. like, it was like, and that's okay. how they kind of did it in the first one. It's like, yeah, you're dealing with superhero, like Superman, uh, like aliens coming from Earth. Like, ultimate. what do you do? So, like, okay, maybe you have some crazy tax force X thing. Yeah. But here, it's just she's just straight up villainy. No, well, she she uh she's the ultimate ends justify the means type of person. Mm -hmm. But she's peacemaker essentially. But peacemaker was in prison for some reason. Yeah, I didn't really explain that. <laughs> I, I I really did like his character. I I, I can't no, wait to I, watch the I, thought he, I thought he was great. Although, again, now you kind of. Are supposed to hate him a little bit after the TV. <laughs> I guess uh -huh. I just love the comment like I I want peace in the world and I don't care how many men, women, and children I have to kill to get it. I, I love that comment. Just him and the whole bag of dicks conversation. That was <laughs> probably the, my favorite part. 
Uh, I thought he had some great stuff. I'm looking forward to his HBO Max show. And uh, I, yeah, sure, he's a little bit of a villain, but I think also his accident, it was more of an accidental killing for who? No. Rick Flag. Yeah. No, it wasn't that. He fucking he's, plunged it into see, his heart. See, that, <laughs> see that, was, dude, that was the other thing that felt so weird. His remorse. That, like, there needed to be a scene to explain why um, Peacemaker was down there. Like, they even, he goes, what are you doing down here? And then he's like, blah, blah, blah. Like, just says, like, some off-the-cuff, like, remark. Like, nobody else was supposed to, like, keep an eye on this dude. Like, one moment he's with King Shark, and the next moment he's just like, oh, I'm just going to wander randomly down to, you know, where everybody else is. Oh, Peacemaker? But, yeah. But he was supposed, that was his secret. He was supposed to follow them around and make sure that the data didn't get out. That was his mission. Well, sure. Was it because like he, the thing is like when like like if if Flag was supposed to die then like wh- like it, it doesn't well, make wasn't sense. He wasn't supposed, supposed to, die. to die. He was supposed to like otherwise she would have let him rot and wherever. Dude, I just said that like James Gunn revealed like that's why he was on the sacrificial team. Like that's literally right. why he was on the sacrificial team because he made fun. Of but James but again at the same time like Waller went and had them save him. Like they yeah. she took the team out of their way to go get him. So like why would she do that? Yeah. Yeah, I know that's what I'm saying. Like, a lot of this movie just it doesn't make coherent sense. Not to mention, like, there's this huge, like, computer board thing, and Flag's like, oh, yeah, I'm just gonna... I, I know exactly where this drive is. And it's like, okay, whatever, dude. Like, I mean, that didn't with... bother me, because you got it a, is a giant movie. kaiju starfish in there. Like, sure, someone's gonna know where the computer stuff they, is. They didn't even explain that, though, either. Like, I mean, I, again, it's a kaiju, but, like, he starts out small, and, like, I guess, was he feeding? Well, the more the people, people yeah, like, the more people, people he feeds on, the dude, he gross. That was, they know. said that in the movie. Like, yeah, in yeah the they show said it must, I must yeah. have missed that remark. They said that right in the beginning. They, they, they said that pretty early on, actually, when they introduced him. Oh, so I knew he was going to be thing, huge. The, thing, the yeah. thing that was interesting to me, though, is that, they like, the video for the uh, U.S. Okay. Yeah. They weren't worried about it, like, like again, like, Amanda Waller wasn't worried about it on, like, a global scale. It was just like, yeah, whatever, that can be a disaster over there. She wasn't worried about it, like, getting any yeah, worse. Yeah, like, just going back to her, like... Well, I don't she know. knew she was just going to blow up the island, so... That's I she, guess, that's I guess you thing. could say that. It was an island, and, uh, you know, in a world where there's, like, Superman and shit, like, that thing isn't that much of a threat, but still, um... No, but I mostly liked it. I think I'd like it more if I had more of a stomach still for the ultra violence. Um, but no, it definitely felt way different to me than uh, the first one, and um, I liked it mostly. So for me, it'd be like a seven five or eight. And I, gave it a, I think I gave it a seven five. I well, think I gave I mean, it a 7, 5. And I think if I was more into the violence, it'd be like an eight eight five. Like if it was. I think Tony gave it a seven, right? Did you give it a seven? Yeah, yeah, I'd give it a seven. Like, yeah. It was solid, but like. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing spectacular yeah. about it. Yeah. No, no at the end I mean, of the day. No, but but I do see why it got a lot of critical good reviews because there's a lot of directorial flourishes and stuff, like, you know, hardly seen with all the flowers and stuff. And, you know, there's a lot of, you know, the transitions, the in universe, like words, transitions. There's a lot of, you know, directorial stuff going on in this movie that was kind of neat um and i i can see a little bit why the critical uh reviews are higher maybe than you know what we might take it at at face value because there's some fanciness going on in it i think it's just easy to compare it to suicide squad and see how drastically um improved the direction was (laughs) and i for me it made sense like i think that no, everything it, that they were doing made, made sense, sense and all the stuff that was there. Is kind of, was well, kind the first of... one was just random shit that happened. So the first one did, definitely did not make sense. And they didn't explain. No, no. this was coherent. At least. King Shark is basically Hulk and Invincible, but it's okay. I mean, yeah, I thought he was going to die when he fell out of that tower because I was like, I oh, mean, well, you, know, that's... you thought he was going to die like the whole movie pretty much, but <laughs> he never really does. I mean, you could say that about every single character in this movie. Yeah. Except By the way, um, <laughs> Sylvester Stallone has had uh, a movie that hit number one that he's been in in six straight decades now. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. 70s, 90s. Uh, Is this 2000. the one for the 2000s? Like the 2020s? Is it the one that counts? Yeah. The 20, yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That's a low bar. <laughs> I'm not trying to take just, away from him, but like that's no. Cool. I was saying it's that's like a, it's pretty crazy. Bar. Sixty years yeah. worth of uh, movie making. Yep. He said no, no, I, movie. I'm not trying to take mm-hmm. away from his achievements. I'm just saying like let, let's. It's COVID. Hope, let's hope right. another one comes out by the end of this decade that yeah. we can place above 
you know, a, what, 30 million opening for... Well, let's just be real. Some of the stuff that has hit number one beforehand is not any better. Cliffhanger? Come on. Yeah. yeah. This was a weird weekend anyway, and I think they're going to continue to be weird going forward. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Expendables? Yeah. I mean, I guess the Expendables are fine, but... Oh, you know. uh, So, yeah, so I watched that. I also watched while I noticed that HBO Max was open. I also watched the first two episodes of uh, Titans, the third season. Weirdly enough... Oh, I didn't. I watched. That's I started so watching well. season, season two. I started watching it's, season two of that. But go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, those the first two seasons, or I watched on DC Universe back when it was a thing, and I yeah. mostly liked it. I was pleasantly surprised. There's some things that I'm like, eh. but you know, it's, it's for me. It's got to be. I have to. Well, season three I, though is like you get Red Hood, right? Like, how is that not Red Hood? Yeah, you do, right? Yeah. They, mm-hmm. So. The problem with this was the promotional material kind of spoiled a lot of stuff, but they kind oh. of get it all out of the way in the first two episodes. Like it's all okay. out of the way. Um, so, so yeah, the, the <laughs> you have to accept this is kind of like an alternate DC universe, like sh- not too distant future where like you know Dirk, Dick Grayson is like late twenties, early thirties. Batman is like mid late fifties, like and and you know. Yeah, no, I've watched. I, I'm, I'm. I actually was watching that this week. I'm like five episodes into season two though, because I was behind. So I started when I saw season three was coming out. I did start watching that, but I'm not caught up yet. So, but go on. You know, it's Dude, weren't you supposed to be watching Demon Slayer? Yeah, I have a whole bunch to watch. In fact, I did watch more of that. So I have watched more stuff I haven't talked about. Sorry, folks. I I want to finish that. Um, uh, what am I done with that one? Um, Let's well, not wasting your time. With sixteen, shit, dude. Yeah, I'm on episode sixteen of that already. So yeah, I'm There's flying like, through it. He doesn't like it. There's like twenty two. There's, like There's like twenty two. Ten episodes left. Yeah, it might be twenty four. You're right. I think it's eight. So I should finish. If you liked that. it more, it would be finished by now. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's just, you know, it's just like, you know, I have other shows I want to no, watch. That's fine, but like, just say that. Like, every time Corey and I talk about it, you're like, oh, I got to finish that. I got to finish that. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. I finish that. All right, fuck this. I'm going to so finish this. Watch it, next week, I'm going to finish it, and I'm going to start the podcast going, fuck you, I finished it, okay? All right. All right. <laughs> Let's... All right. All right. No, okay. but, um, yeah, go ahead. I, I do still like <laughs> Titans. Um, there's some characters in it I don't like, uh, but... No, I just uh, it's because maybe because it's a TV show and not like a movie. It doesn't bother me that like this is not my Batman, you know. I and I, I accept that like already because it's just it's an older sort of. It's I I count this as like closer Batman. to a Batman Beyond Batman. Yeah, closer, but like that's why I always count this too. Yeah, it's like it's like just on the cusp of Batman Beyond. Wait, wait, Batman. Jor Mormont is, Mar- Mar- is the uh, is Batman. Yeah. This, yeah. Right? yeah. Batman, Batman, is Batman is hardly in it, honestly. It's oh, Bruce, it's, Wayne. Like it's Bruce Wayne a lot. You see a lot of Bruce Wayne, but he's it? hardly ever Batman. In this. What else was that guy in? Not George Mormont. What else was he in? Oh, Game of Thrones. Anyways, That's all on. you need, I guess. All right. Yeah. George uh, Mormont's in He-Man, dude. I know he's in that, but I know that. I'm just saying. Oh wait, 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 wait. He-Man, He-Man, like. The new one. The cartoon that we just watched? Yeah. The new yeah, one. they got his voice. I thought you meant yeah. Masters of the Universe. I was like, wait, no. what? Yeah, the new one on Netflix. Yeah, no, I had his voice. Okay. Yeah, I get that. Okay. I'm, so- Anyways, I'm sorry, dude. Sorry. I didn't... sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. But We're derailing mics. Guess... <laughs> yeah, some people yeah, sorry, might, but... might uh, criticize this third season about being a little too Batman-y. Like, it's definitely more focused to the Bat family, but... I don't care. Like basic, like I'm, I'm also. That's the only Batman thing you're getting. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, and it's you know the main character is Dick Grayson. Like you would, he's got his ties, obviously. And um. Well, yeah. The whole controversy when like the first season was going was like, "Fuck Batman!" It's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got over that, but now everyone's mad at him again. <laughs> what else is new? But yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Um, the third season, the third episode is up, uh, so I can watch that. I don't know when they release or whatever, but I'll probably watch that soon. So yeah, HBO Max getting some use for me. <laughs> All right, cool, uh, Corey. Well, um, the third Evangelion movie rebuild. Yeah. Finally oh, came out recently. The fourth. 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 fourth sorry. Yes, fourth. I was going to say it was like a third one. Is it? Yeah. Third one uh, came out nine years ago, dude. <laughs> yeah. No, that's what I was going to say. Because the first one uh, came out in 2008. Right? Yeah. yeah. So it's like, this is. 
Is it 2000? No, it's like I feel like it's longer than that. Maybe 2009. It was like 2008, 2009. Yeah, maybe 2008 Japan. Anyway, it's been like ridiculous over a decade. Yeah, um, to get these films out, and uh, so they're all they're out finally. It's over, and they um they they fixed Shinji a little bit. (laughs) So that's uh it's good, but um yeah, no, it's 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 weird. So anyway, that that's um something to uh it's hard. It's, I it's, watched it. So yeah, it was Wesker. Yeah. Oh, okay. You, you you saw it, Antonio? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I think so. Um, so yeah. Anyway, like uh, it's I feel like they give a little closure to some of the things that they had in the series. But I, and um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I do think these movies needed to have the, the not needed but you should probably watch the show to appreciate these movies more yeah I'll, yeah i can agree to that so but yeah that, it's, it's i mean it was one of the first animes i ever saw it was like yeah. my favorite anime for a long time the show it, absolutely yeah, it was. Had a terrible yeah. ending and then those extra movies came out which kind of made it not it made it better but sinji was still a little whiny bitch and i still feel like i'm scarred from sinji because Ever since I got that anime, I've hated anime where the main character has been a whiny little bitch. (laughs) (laughs) No, I can see that. I don't want to see that. And to me, it's it's interesting because, I mean, I was a teenager when I first watched Evangelion. And this is one of the first anime that got popular over in the United States that, like, was like, whoa, this isn't just, like, giant robots or Sailor Moon or Dragon Ball. It was like, this is, like, some shit. And it's like... Right. I remember watching the anime when I was a teenager and stuff that happens like like making me feel like like bad and like just like oh damn like what the fuck and like kind of just what did i just watch you know kind of reaction well because you come yeah. for the giant robots yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You, and then you find out it's <laughs> not really about fucks. giant robots yeah, like that's just the that's the exterior and the interior is like oh man like psychological yep. pseudo religious babble bullshit you know trauma um but it's interesting to me just you know, for those of you who have not watched it, so the TV series came out in the late 90s. and um, 95, the, I think. Yeah, 95. The uh, producer uh, slash writer on it, um, Anno, like, he struggled with depression, and um, the last two episodes of this 26 anime, or 26 episode anime, are notorious. Like, they're absolutely infamous for just flipping the table upside down in terms of, like, yep. I think Being, with like, a couple friends. up, like, what happened? Yeah, and actually, like, I remember, like, as a fun experiment, getting people to, like, when I introduced them to this, like, being like, hey, before we watch these last two episodes, why don't you write down, like, what you think or what you feel, like, (laughs) what you think is going to happen, and then, like, let them watch it, and then, like, let them come back and reread it, because every time it was just hilarious, like. A little time yeah. capsule before yeah. you watch exactly. Yeah, a little time yeah. capsule experiment. I, I feel like every time they release a new version of it, it's like the director, like the, the original what? writer, is trying original original writer is trying to like fix it so it's more understandable, and yet it keeps well, getting right. more trouble. Yes, right. So that's what I'm getting to. So, so the end of this anime, this 26 episode anime, was so controversial that even in Japan, again, this hadn't aired in America yet. Because you know this is back in the day when like it took a year. And this or, is way before anime has become as popular as it is now. Yeah. Yeah, the, strictly the Japanese fans, like, rioted. Like, they would, like, send hate mail to the office, like, the studio that did it. They, like, slandered uh, the Anno, you know, the director writer, um, sent, like, death threats, like, graffiti the, their office. Like, it was, like, really serious shit um, because they were just that upset at the ending. So then they're like, okay, you know what? Fine. Uh, we're going to do a movie. It's going to be called The End of Evangelion, and it's going to redo the last two episodes, basically. And that calmed people down until it finally came out. And basically that movie, like if you didn't like the TV ending, the ending of this movie is just like worse in terms of like, (laughs) fuck you, fuck your thoughts, fuck your feelings, fuck your hopes, fuck your dreams, anything you thought (laughs) anime was supposed to be, fuck it. And like, they're like, done. Like, Mm -hmm. we're done with it. And, you know, again, that was like (laughs) in the 90s. Uh, And then in the late 2000s, uh, Anna got complete creative control over um the franchise again so it's like all right fans i'm gonna i'm gonna do you solid all right now that i have co control over this i'm gonna remake the series into four movies it's gonna be called the rebuild series and the first one came out and it pretty much 
uh, it was just like a remake of the first, I don't know, half of the series, I'd say, just like better animation. Yep. They cleaned a lot of stuff up. Yeah. I was happy. It was good. Like, it's like, hey, this is this is good. Cut out all the well, kept... car gra- crap that you didn't need. You know? yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I kept like watching it. I'm like, I, I would it. love this. If he, if he like really fixes the ending to where it's, I can understand what's going on. I'm like, yeah. I can't wait. And then, yeah, go on. Yeah. <laughs> Setting the so stage. The second, this. Episode, the second movie, which came out two years later, which is reasonable. Um, Not too bad. Two, what, like the sooner, episode, yeah. yeah. Came out what you like sort of knew about the second half of the series, but flipped certain things around where like certain events did or did not happen or happened different, different characters just to like, and there's new characters introduced. Yeah, exactly. So I was like, okay, but it was really good. Positive reception. Then it took, I think three years for the third movie to come out. And that one was just, again, kind of like a fuck you. It was like, what are we doing? Like, I don't understand this. Like, just uh, you had it, and that then you, lost me at that. Like, yeah, that no, lost no, me at that yeah. point. But go on. Yeah. <laughs> so that was back in 2012, right? Was it 12? So wow. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Fourth movie has been in development for for almost a decade, um, and it's absolutely ridiculous. So I thought going into this, like, there's no way, there's no way he's gonna stick this land. Absolutely no way. Like, the expectations are way too high. And I watched it this past weekend, and I gotta say, I think for the most part, he 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 nailed that landing. Like, maybe not like on a dime on a runway, but like nobody got hurt. It, the the plane made it safely. Like <laughs> everybody could be pretty really? happy about this. Yeah. And I was just like, holy shit! And especially the last, I want to say, like twenty minutes. Like Corey was saying, like totally flipped my opinion of a main character. Like I've never seen this happen in terms of like, like you know what? Yes. Like I hate. I was with really? Corey. Like, I hate this character so much. Yeah. And he finally got, like, his redemption he, arc. Wait, can, wait, Corey, did you watch this yet? Yeah. No, that's why I was bringing and this it up. And this didn't fix your trauma? I did just watched it. I, I, <laughs> he I, just I, had I, decades I just, of trauma. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, this is my I know, anime, I know, like, I know that you were watching it. I just, I didn't know if... if I Okay. I'm like, I'm, I'm just shocked that it didn't finish, fix your trauma. That's all. I was like, I, I know that this is... I, I actually the fixed wasn't trauma that's been one. there, and like, yeah, it's not, it's not. I haven't really watched anything after this either, but I still, I just, it just, you know, it brings I'm, up memories. I'm gonna so watch this last episode. I'm gonna watch God. watch this last one now because like the third one lost me last time. They're you know, all, so I can't they're believe they're it was all a decade ago. Too, so. Yeah, yeah I know, I'm gonna go through all. You know. Yeah, but, yeah. I'll have to I mean, rewatch it all. Yeah, I, I thought the ending was really good. Like totally, um, was unexpected. I didn't expect anything, good. but it, and but it was surprising, but not really like. Game of Thrones, you know, or like walking, well, like whatever. It's just like ah, yeah. whatever. We're gonna shit all over your character and stuff like that. So um, I'm happy with it. It feels weird because this is supposedly like the actual last thing he's ever going to do with Evangelion. So like, it's weird to think about like a, a series that's 25 years old and like getting, like just retired. So like, part of me is like kind of like melancholy about that. Where it's like, okay, well, you know, this is a good ending. And actually, I don't want to see any more about it. Like, I'm just, I'm good how it ends. Yeah, good. Yeah, I agree. Right, I think so that this is good. I, I, this yeah. is like no more, no more. <laughs> just, yeah, let's like, just, just stop, just, please. Just, like, don't, don't keep trying. Is, You've done it. You've done it now. Just stop. You, you okay. did it. Yeah. Um, also, just yeah. So that, and then the Christmas episode of Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso. And I will say, yeah. like, uh, Roy Kent in this season has been absolutely all amazing in this, like, that character. He's good so season. far. That I actually, love yeah. the character. His yeah. his whole thing is he's just so this like emotionally like barren like guy but he's so emotionally aware of people's like emotions and how they feel and how to to, well, to, to act that, them. he had that and early just, on he had that comment so, to the owner of so the good. team remember when he was talking to her like no fuck that guy no fuck that guy if he doesn't give you you know what you want fuck that guy that's what yeah he said that, was, that was season two yeah. yeah yeah season two yeah so yeah he's been yeah, good. no he's just he, it's just it's so it's so good um and tend lasso obviously the character himself just this like like so so positive this is so much positivity yeah. about him and it's such a great feel-good show that, like, no matter, even though there's like some heavier moments in it and tones and like themes or like, storylines, uh, they just handle it so well. One of my favorite scenes is like this dart competition scene in this first season, and it's just like this. The the line is just like one that I'm like I'm gonna teach my kids. It's like, um, you know, be curious, not jun- judgmental. Like, ask questions if if you feel like you have an opinion on something. Like, find out things about it instead of just judging it for what you see learn about it because if you do maybe you'll find out it's not what you think and so it's like just that kind of the attitude is just like it's so um 
yeah, it's so great. So that yeah, Ted Lasso was such a gem. Yeah, it's, like, it's such a great show. Good. Yeah, cool. Uh, Tony, you want to talk about what if when we're ready, or I yeah, think you so, can talk about some other stuff first. Yeah. So uh, aside from Evangelion, uh, I watched that new He Man Masters of the Universe on Netflix. Now, uh, was I right though? Right with, about what particular part? Very good, but holy shit, frustrating that for He Man. Um, had good moments. Um. I, I'm I'm weirded out in the way that like I still don't understand if this is supposed to be like a sequel series or like are we just supposed to be uh, I don't know. I don't know. No. I like, don't know that's, either. That's like, the weird part I to thought me. it was a sequel series. That's what it was supposed to be. I don't think it is. No. It doesn't seem like it. But it was supposed to be. Picking up right yeah. after the end of the Masters of the Universe, the He Man and the Masters of the Universe in nineteen eighty five. Yeah. Eighty six, whatever it ended, but yeah, I, so I, it was supposed to be that. And then we got this, which is, I, I like I said, I really enjoyed this. But go on. What did you think? It was, I mean, it was good. Um, I'm interested in watching the second part. Um, mm-hmm. It was really weird that they decided to split it up like that. I just yeah. chalk it up to um, COVID. COVID. I think. Yeah. Uh, but they got some big name uh, stars on it. Like, oh, my God. I didn't yeah. Realize that Sarah Michelle Geller was the main heroine. Yeah. Uh, until and I watched her out of, the, the out of nowhere for her. Yeah. Yeah. She's been but doing watched, voice work for a while though. Like, yeah, I, I just Freddy didn't Prince Jr. Like, both. Yeah, I couldn't like pin like her voice thing. I was like, that's I didn't know that was her either until the did you watch the wrap up? Like they did yeah, the yeah, post yeah, thing? Yeah. Like, yeah, okay, good. Okay. Yeah, they did like an episode of yeah. the, the yeah. act, voice actor and stuff like yep. that. Um and who else like they got Davos, they got obviously the I, Camels I knew, Davos, it. that's who it was. Mm-hmm. It was not it was not um Jorah Mormont in that show, it was Davos. That was in that oh, show. Oh Davos. Jorah Mormont, by the way, Jorah Mormont was Dr. Isaac in Resident Evil movies. Uh, okay. uh yeah. that's where I got that from. But go on, go on. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So um, that was that was they had um Alan Oppenheimer, who was the original Skeletor's voice, was Moss Man. Yeah, that was cool. Which I thought was great. Yeah, it was really yeah. cool. Um and then what's her name from Game of Thrones? Um shit, the Queen. Um why can't I think of this? Lena Headley? Yeah, Lena Headley. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she had a great job great on voice um, yeah. Eva Lynn. Like I actually found her the most interesting character yeah, from the I I do agree with you. I think yeah. she had a cool story, really cool story. Yeah, because it was like, like, oh, like, okay. Maybe it's the villain aspect of it, but it was like, <clears throat> that was really interesting to figure out her, what drives her character kind of thing. Yeah. We never got that before. That's why I like the show. Like, we got more what's behind Justin these Justin Long other was characters. also a voice in this. Yeah, like, and he was. But like, we always got, we got these characters we were like, what's behind these characters? We never got that in the 1985 series. It's yeah. just like, it's cool that we got this, but how they yeah. sold it is arguable. You know what I mean? Like, that's, yeah, that's the thing that's frustrating. And then, I, like, I, I couldn't help but laugh when, like, they did the um, mm-hmm. the wrap-up or the whatever, the, the behind-the-scenes yep. or something like that. At the very end, like, they had the toy commercial. And then they were like, by the way, if, like, you really, you know, talk about us on, on social media by using the hashtag more modu or something like that. And I was just like, are you guys in trouble? Like, is there, like, is Netflix holding you by the balls? Like, if you guys don't reach certain, you know, I, I gotta feel like... or something? I don't like know. It just came off like, as more desperate. Weird. Than it. It's so know. weird with COVID numbers. Like, what do you have to do yeah. to survive? Yeah. And I just feel like I think it did well. Like, actually, the controversy with the, what they chose probably helps them because it's like you got to oh. watch it to see what goes on. And if you hit that first episode, as many people have, that have that have done it, I can't see them get not getting a second season because of that. Yeah, because Netflix algorithm, that. Netflix's algorithm is like YouTube now, where it's like thirty seconds of viewership is like enough for a view for them. Yeah. So, you know, but you know. Anyways, what else? That's it. Oh, okay, yeah, so we if. watched what if? Yeah, what if we can get to finally? Wow, we're we're in this episode, guys. This has been a pretty beefy episode so far. Uh, what if uh, Marvel? We got um, Carter, um, yeah, Agent Carter. If Captain, uh, well, Captain Carter, if Captain Carter, in this, uh, if she took the serum instead, I thought the like the Watcher taking over and explaining the situation. I thought it was like really an awesome series to follow Loki because it was like. Yeah, we've got these rules now, so we understand how this kind of works, and um, and they just, you know, you're we're getting these now side stories that you can see in Loki, and you're like, now you're gonna get these things, and it's kind of cool to get. I like this. Yeah, I, I you know they're gonna do, really nice. You know they're gonna do a what if about um, Croc Loki, right? Like there has to be. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I've seen now. so much of that on social media now. I'm just like, all right, like cool. I mean, I'm I'm psyched for the Marvel zombies. Like I. I, we're, yeah. we're getting a Marvel Zombies episode. There's yeah. no question. So, yeah. um, 
but yeah, I, I thought it was, I thought it was a good first episode. Uh, it was interesting to basically rewatch Captain America in, in a forty minute episode. See, you know that's, what I mean? that's like, where I'm conflicted. Like, like don't worry, it was good. Yeah, but just good. Like, and it retreaded a lot of the first in Captain America, the first yes. Avengers. So that's I'm wondering if this was the the best first episode to put out. To like be like, hey. Well, I think I think what's what they were going for it was first Avenger kind of thing. That's what they were going for. I don't know. That's why. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, maybe I just yeah. felt like I was like, was this really like? I don't know. To me personally, I would have felt a lot better if they if they released the first two episodes. I don't even I don't even know what the second episode was until today. Apparently, it's going to be um, uh, uh, Chakala in space mm-hmm. uh, as the Guardian, yeah, Star Lord, so, as Star Lord, yeah, Star Lord Chakala. Um, but I just feel like, like, why don't you just release two episodes instead of the first? Like, I think every other series has released the two episodes, right? Or am I wrong on that? No, it was one. No, one, they, time. They've been one? one? For some reason, yeah, I thought they... WandaVision did the two, but I don't think... It oh, maybe finish. that's it. Maybe that's it. For the premiere, yeah. 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 But, it was but cool. uh, I agree. Like, I think it was, it was, it was fine. It wasn't yeah. my favorite, mm-hmm. to be honest. Yeah, yeah, like, I wouldn't agree good. Watch this or anything. Good. No. But... All right, um, let's do some quick news here, and then we'll uh, wrap it on up, guys. Uh, so, yeah, we got some movie news here. Uh, okay, I I think we can continue with Marvel. Uh, talking about Shang-Chi um, is – obviously, we know this now. We, we see it everywhere, only releasing in theaters. Uh, we talked about it a little bit last week. I thought I'd put it on here. It's been confirmed from Disney. It will not reach Disney+. Plus. I, like thought, the, I mean, this has been confirmed stuff. a while ago. Sure. I just – They were really talking about that when Black, the, for, there's a Black lot of Widow. There's a lot of cries to um, – bring it to Disney plus because of the current oh. state of COVID out there. Mm-hmm. And we were talking about that last week, you know, by the way, switching. get vaccinated. Yeah. I'll say it again on here, get vaccinated. Uh, but, um, the, the problem you have is like, I think one of the actors this today just came back and saying, we're not a test subject to the, you know, Disney heads that said this, you know, we're not a test subject for this. And he's like, I think it's ridiculous to, to make those comments like that. Uh, I mean, <sighs> It's frustrating because this is the new CEO now. It's um, not Bob. I uh, yes, name. it's uh, yeah. Uh, it's gonna take yeah Fisher. Yeah. Um, he, apparently, think. he's notorious for not being able to like talk and give like, you know, uh, PC friendly like language and stuff like that. I think this was one of they were talking to investors or something like uh, I forget the the exact um, yeah. Yep. But like clearly, like it was just talking about like, hey, we're we're testing out the model of like, hey, is it okay to release a movie just in theaters again, stuff like that. Um, so I understand that part, but at the same time, I understand um, you know the reaction be like, hey, you know, it's like maybe you just watch your mouth and like like your CEO, you no, know, you can't just be like, you got to watch what you say, you know, and how you say it. Chepic, but I think his name is. Yeah, Chopic. 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 Yeah, Chopic. 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 Yeah. I was thinking Copic. Chapstick. But Just call him Chapstick. Chapstick, yeah. <laughs> so. Do you think the Scarlett Johansson lawsuit was a factor in this at all? No. 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 <laughs> I don't think no, that, that this was, was the plan. This was, gonna... this was the plan before. Like, they, they said, this is, this is going to Disney Plus premiere, and then this one isn't. So like they, they had laid that out before Black Widow came out. Yeah, they did. Yeah. So we'll see. I am oh, not going to really see this. Social media. I impression. know. I am not going to see this in the theaters right away. I'll I'll pick a day that's a little slower. Mm-hmm. Maybe go check it out. That kind of thing. Um, maybe scout the theaters, but I won't be seeing it opening weekend because of that. I just I want to, but I just don't. Are this I don't know. Like that ran out I, of theater for like a hundred bucks or something. Oh, or is that the way got good. desperate? I don't, I don't think so. It's more than that on think, premieres. No, it's way more than that. I don't that. think they do that or... now. Oh, they got rid of it now? I don't know if they do that now. That's what I'm asking. Because, like, oh. like, now that's that people like, have been going back. I was going to say, like, I, I, I go, I'd pay $25 and watch it with the four of you guys if you want to split yeah, it. Yeah, we could do that. that. Like, like, look at this. Have a whole Might have to be during the week or something, but... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I, I want to go see this so badly, and, like, it's annoying, because I am... I was so hyped for this, for the from the trailers and I'm just like, I'm excited. I see a lot of the main actor. I follow him on Twitter and I just kind of like, he's so excited for this movie to come out. And I'm like, dude, you're, it's, it's, it, it, it's yeah. heading towards just a train wreck of, of box office because of the COVID stuff. And it's not well, because it's a bad movie. So they just you know? started pre-sales apparently yesterday. And right mm-hmm. now people are pretty positive because the science they're extrapolating like, Hey, based on first day sales, this is doing X amount of, it's just like just under black widow or whatever like that. So like, we're projecting, I think, sixty to seventy but, million open weekend, which wouldn't be bad. 
again, no, but COVID, it would be so much know. better with Disney Premier. Like you'd get another sixty no, no, million I, on top of this. I, I agree. I one hundred percent agree. Yeah, have, but you'd, you'd also get less in the theater. Like that would take a big chunk out of that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you may you may have like forty million instead. You know, you might or something. Yeah. But uh, no, I. It's a shame because. Yeah, I don't think I would have liked to have gone see, to see Suicide Squad in theater. I didn't because of the way things are right now. And same thing with this. It's like I, I would go see this, but we'll have to see how um, things are looking at that point. Was Maybe, it first week of September, second week? Yeah. September, Mon- how about Monday, September 6th, which is, I think, Memorial Day <laughs> That's at 1245 in the afternoon. Oh, Labor Day. Sorry. Labor Day. Yes. Uh, 1245 in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, that might I, be I mean, the that, time. Yeah. Everybody's off though, though, Jim. So uh, yeah, I know, but twelve forty-five. It's got to be slower, right? Yeah. Or just come I, out for the drive-in. Yeah, we could do the drive-in. That that's true. I found another one up in um, New York too. There's one up there in New York in the Warwick area. Cool. But... Cool. Might as well go by Tony if you're gonna go out yeah. that far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm I'm close to Warwick, so. Uh, but yeah, right. I always come up to New Jersey though. <laughs> I think I came out to Jersey just to see Winter Sold or uh, Civil War. So you guys owe me. I said the next time you guys. Got yeah, to we, yeah. we saw Justice League in the theater by you, didn't we? Something... No, that doesn't count. You guys wanted to see Justice League. Yeah. I just agreed yeah, to come did. with you guys. You, you guys wanted to see Winter Soldier, Soldier too, though. No, come on. Or Civil like, whatever. War. But no, Civil War. Yeah, whatever. You guys came out for something else. It wasn't just for Justice League. Yeah. I don't know. The, the last. Yeah, I don't know what we came out for for that. Uh, I know that one of the last movies I remember watching with a lot, with everybody from Pennsylvania Crew was 300. Like, I remember that. It was a long time ago. Uh, but <laughs> That is a yeah, lot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but no, um, no, going back to Shang-Chi, the one thing I really want to say is like, Jim, because you brought it up, was like, the, the main guy is so excited. Like, I know. Like, I, I guess we've become a little jaded because like all the main actors are getting for these characters now at this point are like, big name or like known entities or something like that and like this he, he like where he like he campaigned for this role yeah, years ago years ago yes yeah. Yeah. Like a, yeah like obviously he put it on twitter but like you know people say all, all kinds of shit on twitter like half jokingly or whatever like that yeah. but like this feels like me for like a dude like like obviously he's a celebrity i'm not saying he's not but like this is like a b-list or c-list guy like getting like his dream of like being able to like play like a big action you know marvel cinematic movie thing like i think it's really cool like you can just see his energy in it like he's actually got the toys and it's like the marvel legends figures he's like what is this like i can't believe this like this is real and he's like you know playing with himself in aquafina or whatever mm. yeah i don't know um so we'll see how it goes on this one but driving may make sense i don't know we'll see uh free guy is another one i, I want to go see so badly too i heard really good things about that actually yeah it got it got a um uh, uh ryan reynolds was tweeting the fact that disney wants them to write a second one already so they're they're very encouraged by its original sales. So. I think I posted in the Discord. Um, they did some mock poster movies or movie posters. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, those were cool. back to the uh, old video games and stuff like that. I thought that was really cool. Like, I was like, oh, yeah. that's a nice little marketing. It's funny because like I was scrolling through some of the HBO stuff and like Ready Player One came by. I was like, oh, you know, Free Guy would be something. <laughs> I just like dismissed <laughs> Ready Player One. I was like, I'd rather see Free Guy. I keep trying. You know what's funny is I've never finished watching that movie um yeah. ready player one like i have it and i've probably tried to watch it three times now and i still have never finished it so um yeah, and i like the book i love that book like i really enjoyed it not two not ready player two but ready player one i really enjoyed um so uh, i don't know anyways you know and that's that's about it for the news really we have i mean venom got delayed again three week delay um did yeah. they have a reason behind this i didn't see Probably. why and COVID reasons. COVID, but three weeks is like almost useless in the scheme yeah. of COVID. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's going to start worse, seeing right? a lot of this back again, yeah. unfortunately. Like, it just it it really wanted to be because... colder. It's like, come on, let's just get into October. and <laughs> Yeah, where yeah. things get worse historically. Yeah, historically, yes. <laughs> they should and they're trying to give... just release something earlier. Be like, boom, tomorrow, bitches. Like, just go. Go see the movie. <laughs> yeah. I think they're trying to uh, see if vaccinations can go up and lower this outbreak, which who knows? Know gonna happen uh, yeah so yeah. all right that's Get gonna your wrap boosters. Up. the boosters are happening i heard they're happening so just check uh if you don't have any vaccinations go get one said it already once before say it again because i can't say it enough you should go get it you should <laughs> <laughs> anyways do you, cars? Uh, do you drive <laughs> do you go in cars do you go in planes do you eat food you trust the yeah. experts already with your life so do it this yeah. time if you don't know what's in it, I guarantee you can't tell me what's in your Coca-Cola. 
So um, that's FDA approved. <laughs> doesn't mean it's good. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, but I'm just saying. People like, have died absolutely. from drinking like too much cola in a day. Too much soda in a day, and I've no, I know this for a fact. My my, my point is is like that a lot of the arguments I've heard of the vaccine the, the vaccine is the fact that they don't know what's in it, and I'm like, really? Like you can tell me what's in that fucking burger you're eating from they McDonald's? Know, they know exactly what's in it though, because it's designed. It, and plus they have an ingredients list, so all I have to do is read about it. Yes, true. But anyways, that's another topic. We don't have to go into that. Let's go <laughs> wrap up this episode of the movie cast. Thanks for tuning in. You can write us all you can geek at gmail.com. You can follow us on Twitter at all you can geek. You can like us on Facebook and you can watch us on YouTube. If you did not know this, we'd love subscribers. Hit it, that subscribe button, the like button, follow us, leave a comment. I'll see you guys next week. We're out.